Hello again, it's day 16 of my 100 days vlog challenge. Right, today I'm doing something a little bit different. I am gonna do my first attempt at a screen recording tutorial. Now, I'll be honest with you, I've already recorded it, and basically it's not gonna, it's not gone according to plan, okay? It's, uh, it's work in progress. If I do another one, I know the mistakes I've made, but unfortunately, because I'm doing daily vlogs, I don't have time really to go back through it and do it again. So, unfortunately, this is my first attempt. So, you are actually going to see, to see how hard it is to do a screen recording and remember exactly what you've got to say all in one go, because it's quite difficult to stop and start. The problem I have is I'm using QuickTime to record the screen, and I'm using my phone to record the voice. Because when you do a, a screen recording using QuickTime, it doesn't record audio, so you have to record the audio separately. <sighs> Long story short, the issue is that obviously the QuickTime will record at a certain frame rate, and the audio is recorded at a different rate, so they don't synchronize so you have to do a bit of fiddly fiddly stuff with with the actual edit and you have to make sure that obviously the audio is syncing with the video otherwise it goes completely weird i managed to do that but um what i've done is basically done a tutorial on how i make my thumbnails using photoshop i'm not saying it's the correct way not saying it's you know, totally by textbook but it's what I do, it's how I've been making all my thumbnails. So, because I have had a few people asking, and quite a few people complimenting, complimenting me, complimenting? Complimenting me on my thumbnails. So I thought, well, maybe I'll show everybody how I do it. So, apologies if this tutorial is a little bit hard to follow, but it's my first go. Hopefully, I might do a few more, maybe some editing tutorials, or well, I won't call them tutorials, maybe they're just how I do it. Okay, so if people wanna know how I do it, this is what I'm doing. Oh, I'm not saying there, you know, how this is how it must be done. It's just, this is the way I do it. So here we go, this is how I make my thumbnails for my vlogs. Okay, I've had a few uh, people asking how I make my thumbnails. So I thought I might as well do a thumbnail tutorial. I'm using Photoshop Creative Cloud. And as you can see, I've already got a photograph of myself that I took earlier, which I need to just cut out around myself and get rid of the background. So what I'll do is I'll use the pen tool and then all I'm gonna do is literally just cut around myself, cut around all the lines of my shirt. It does take a few minutes, so let me just fast forward a little bit so you don't have to sit there and watch me click 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 all the way around myself hopefully if I fast forward it enough you should be able to follow anyway okay so nearly done just got to join up the uh, the last square, like that. And then all I'm gonna do is do a right click inside myself <laughs> and we'll go to make selection. I'll leave it at feather radius one pixel, anti-alazed. And what it's done now, it's made a selection, but what it's done is selected to have the background. So I'm just gonna invert it. So I'm gonna to go to select inverse. And now you can see the dotted round is just around myself. So now all I'm gonna do is do, um, I'm using a Mac, so I'm using Command C. I think if you're using a PC, it'd be, um, uh, I, might, oh, I don't know, I think it's Shift and C, or you can just go to Edit, and then just go to Copy, and that will copy what you've just cut out. Now I'm gonna to go to File New, and then I'm gonna choose the, this one here, the 1920 by 180. This is the ideal setting for YouTube, I've heard. So click on that one, create. Obviously now you've got a blank canvas, but because you've already copied yourself, you can now do Command V and then you pop in there. Or you can go to edit and obviously paste and you get the same result. Um, on my thumbnails, you'll notice that I'm always on the left-hand side, so I need to flip myself around. Otherwise I'm gonna be pointing at nothing 
So I'm just going to go to image, uh, image edit, and then I'm going to transform, and then I'm going to go to flip horizontal, and then drag myself back over there. Right, so there I am, that's where I normally am. But obviously I'm a bit dull looking, so I need to brighten myself up a bit. So I'll go to image, and I go to adjustments, and I go to, ooh, and I go to levels, and then all I'm going to do is just, I don't want to just drop down the shadows a bit, and then I brighten everything up with the mid-tones and then with the whites uh, that's about right not too bright otherwise you'll end up looking like that so I normally have a right about there and then I'll go to make myself a little more colourful I normally look a bit orange but I don't mind that I don't mind looking a bit orange so vibrance and then boost that up to about plus 20 and the saturation I normally push it up until I'm happy with the colour I don't want to go too orange uh that's that'll do that's about right okay so that's that's me done that's my bit done and then all i'm going to do now is add the white uh border around myself so i go to effects and we have stroke and mine's already set to black so obviously i don't want a black one so i want to just change the color to white and also looking at i might increase the size of the white line as well I'm going to whack that up to 15. That'll do. Right, and also I want my turquoise looking background. So I need a new layer. And I'm going to drop that layer behind or underneath myself. And obviously then go to the fill tool. And I'm going to select what color I want, which hopefully I can remember. Around about there. Oh no, that's not right. Uh, that'll do. That's the right color I need. And then, boosh. There I am. Right. Then. I will be using the type tool to create words or the title, sorry I should say. So what I'm doing now basically, I'm just creating the thumbnail for this video that you're watching now. Um, I use this font here, the Stone Sands, and here we go. So this will be how to create, oh let's start that again because I've got the wrong colour setting because you're not going to see that. Let's use black be easier for the time being so how to create thumbnails for YouTube in Photoshop right so as you oh that's wrong I can't even spell it YouTube that's not YouTube right as you can see it's far too big so let's just say let's just confirm that's what we want I'm going to drag it up so it's on the top of everything and then I'm going to use command T and then I'm just going to reduce the size of the screen a bit and then all I'm going to do is hold it down the shift button drag one of the corners down so it becomes small enough to actually fit on the canvas now what I've done there I've obviously made it too big so I'm just going to let you supply to that okay so I'm just going to um, move some of these words around i'm gonna ch put that in that, that looks better now to me and then i'm gonna align everything to the right hand side using the align right and then again just gonna move it back over to about there right so i'm now happy with the wording thumbnail how to create thumbnails right i spelled it wrong again so again it's always a good time to make sure everything's spelled right Right, okay, so now I think it's too small. So again, I'm to control T, and then I'm just gonna increase the size until I get it how I want it looking. Hmm, I think I might have to change it a little bit more, actually. I'm gonna, ch I'm just gonna bring YouTube downstairs as well, and uh, move that back up. Oh, yeah. Hmm, not sure, it's, the title's too long but it's got to be done. All right, so control T again, and then I'm going to increase the size. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to rotate it a little bit so that YouTube is not actually over my face. And I've just got to bend it around and make it a little bit more dynamic. Yeah, I'm not happy with that, to be honest, but we'll, we'll sort, I'll sort it out later. But again, when you find on my thumbnails, you'll see that most of my text is also has the white board around it white stroke even so I'm going to do the same thing there so 
and a white strike, but I don't want it 15, I'm gonna drop it down to 10. That's about right, so and to make it stand out a little bit more, I'm gonna change some of the coloring. I'm gonna change thumbnails to red. Um, maybe change Photoshop to purple, because at the moment, Photoshop is branded in a sort of purple color, so that's too bright. That's about, mm, maybe keep it, I might keep it bright. It's not the right color, but obviously you need a nice vibrant color, otherwise it won't stand out. Right, so there's my, there's my face, there's my title. What I might also do now is um, chuck in day 16. Because obviously I'm doing this 100 days vlog challenge and I want day 16 so people can keep track of what we're doing. So there's day 16 and I'm going to make that, what color? I think we will use, what? Just go for a nice bright yellow this time. I have been keeping it pink, but I'm going to change it this time because I've got Photoshop in pink as well. So this is going to be changed. Day 16, and I'm going to stroke this on black. Yellow and black seems good. Yellow and white would, you be, would you be too bright. So I'm going to change that color to black. Day 16, and I'll probably use a little drop shadow so it looks gives it a little 3D feel. Uh, change where are we, drop shadow change the angle of that, I don't want the shadow facing down, I want it facing at that an angle. That'll do. Again, what I like to do, I like to spin my text around the opposite direction from the main title. So it looks a bit zany, a bit freaky. Um, okay, I'm still not happy with the actual title, how to create thumbnails for YouTube in Photoshop. But that is the title of the video, and I like to do that, I like to keep it the same as the title. Um, okay, let's leave it like that. It sometimes just have to go with it, I think, and this time it will go for it. Um, so basically, that's how I use my, do my thumbnails. Um, I make them 190, uh, sorry, uh, 1920 by 180, uh, sorry, by 1080p. So they're nice and uh, in H, basically they're HD thumbs. I uh, try to make sure I've got some 3D elements, got, got myself on the screen. Because uh, all my thumbnails are based on the same sort of principle as this one here, so they all sort of look consistent, not but not totally the same. Um, so that's about it, really, guys. You know, that's that's still how I actually create my thumbnails using Photoshop. Um, I hope you may have found something useful out of that. Um, okay, that's about it. Okay, so as you noticed, it is quite hard to try and get everything um, and synchronized and zoomed in. That's what I didn't do. The problem with this tutorial is it's going to be a bit hard to follow. I didn't really think about zooming in when I was selecting specific tools. Looking at it now, I think it might be a bit difficult for people to follow if they're definitely if they're following on a mobile phone or a tablet. But if you could maybe if you've got a big old screen, you might be able to uh, use full screen and be able to follow everything. The other issue I had was that I forgot to turn my notifications off. So during the tutorial, I had Facebook notifications, private messages coming through, Twitter notifications coming through. So yeah, so I had to blur all those out. So anyway, that's my first attempt at a tutorial. This has all been part of my 100 days vlog challenge. There are other people doing this challenge. They're all listed in my description box below. We're all different. There's all different types of vloggers doing this challenge. So if you're really interested in what we're doing and you want to check out different people doing different types of vlogs, just scroll down. You'll see a long list of, uh, of vloggers taking part in the 100 day vlog challenge. 